Michael is under a little heat by the uh, mainstream media, so let me uh, go ahead and go to his phone call. Uh, Senate, can uh, Senate candidate Baumgartner, good morning, sir. Good morning. How you doing, Rick? I'm well. Just doing a little radio show. I've been reading a lot about you the last couple of days. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so um, you want to you want to you want to chat in a an open forum about what actually happened? Well, sure. You know, the, the, basically, uh, a couple of days ago, um, a, a liberal blogger here in Seattle, uh, you know, got into a lengthy discussion with me about the, uh, the idiotic and ignorant comments from the the, the Senate candidate in uh, in Missouri. You know, I made my thoughts known on those. He very much wanted to press the uh, uh, issues of of, uh, of, uh, of, of, of uh, Missouri. And uh, we started talking about the war and the coverage of the war and some other things that I don't want to go into a great deal on detail right. on. But he was a little cavalier uh, about those issues and, and said some, uh, some some things that I took exception to. A liberal blogger? Why, why do I find that so shocking? Yeah. So uh, basically after that exchange uh, later, I emailed him a personal email with a picture of me and a Navy SEAL uh, that had just been killed in Afghanistan. Uh, the week before, and uh, gave him some advice, gave the blogger some advice, which I use an expletive, uh, and then he took it and, uh, and put it online, and so we've been dealing with it since then. Yeah, and, and so this was a personal message, as if none of us have ever used that word in personal messages before, that he, he, he took and then made public, kind of almost like you sent it in kind of off the record as a personal note, and then he has made, tried to make his self famous by using it. Sure. Well, you know, and you know, and to be uh, to be clear, you know, I didn't tell him it was the off the record, but there is a past history of myself and this blogger exchanging emails. Mm -hmm. uh, so I certainly didn't expect it, uh, him to put this photo of the this American hero that, that had been killed uh, up on his, his website, and uh, you know, me standing with him. And uh, you know, and, but look, the, the point is, uh, and all this stuff is rather than talk about real issues like the ongoing failures of, of the war in Afghanistan. In particular, Senator Cantwell's failures on those issues. Yeah. You know, they'd rather dwell on on things like this this Missouri issue. Yeah, well, and you know that when when you don't have the uh, the high ground on the issues, then you attack the person, and that seems to be what uh, what the blogger is helping Maria Cantwell. In that. It's almost as if he's campaigning for her with this. Well, yeah, and you know, of course, the other thing is, uh, you know, before I had seen it, our campaign put out a uh, an apology to this gentleman and. Uh, I just want to make it clear that, that I'm, I'm not apologizing to this guy. Uh, he, he had it coming. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this, and, and I don't think anyone's commenting. The guy you're standing in the photo with, you've spent some this, – this, this hero that has, has been killed in Afghanistan, this is a friend of yours. He's he a guy I know, you know, and I looked at – I didn't send this, this photo out with the, the uh, intent of making this guy a center of a story. You know, his family's grieving right now. Yeah. You know, he's an American hero that obviously we all remember – you know, nearly 2,000 Americans have now died, you know, and you just look at this kind of lack of coverage. But, yeah, it is somebody that, that I know. I mean, I've known other people that have been killed in Iraq and Afghanistan. It's a very important issue to me. Yeah, no, absolutely. Well, and you've spent time over there yourself. Yes, that's right, yeah. Yeah. So um, so the, 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 the point being is you're trying to bring attention to the, this war going on where Americans are dying and no one's paying attention to it. Well, you know, it, it just has fallen to the back pages for so many, so many folks. You know, we now have it's the longest war in our nation's history. It's based on a, a strategy that uh, just isn't going to work. Trying to force democracy in this extremely remote uh, area. You know, we're spending a trillion dollars uh, on this strategy, and frankly, there's been a lot of political failure and cowardice, in my view, from both Democrats and Republicans. People are failing to, to criticize their own leadership. You know, and people are ignoring the story. And I think it's really, really important. Certainly, uh, much more important than spending. Uh, um, you know, all of our, our news time talking about social issues and other things, which are the key points of this campaign. Right. Well, and, and, and the only thing that we have to go by on, on what's going on over there is how our current senators are voting and uh, supporting us being there, supporting us not being there. What is your opponent, Maria Cantwell's position been on Afghanistan? Well, you know, Senator Cantwell uh, doesn't understand these issues. I don't think, really, frankly, she even understands what she's voting on. But she voted for, in favor of the Iraq War. She voted in favor of expanding the, the war in Afghanistan. Didn't do anything when the president attacked Libya without proper authorization. Yeah. And yet after her most recent Afghan war vote, you know, she wrote a letter to the, uh, uh, the president saying, well, I have some concerns about the strategy. So in, instead of actually looking at her votes and discussing the issue— uh, people, but the, the media has said, well, she's against the war because she wrote this letter, you know, which is just uh, completely far-fetched. But, you know, more importantly, let's talk about what's the realistic strategy there, because we have, we can't be isolationists. I mean, we're going to have to deal with radical Islamic terrorists for, for uh, the 
the foreseeable future, yeah. And, yeah. and we just have a, a, a people that don't understand this. Yeah, and unfortunately, it seems like there's at least one of our one of our two senators who don't understand. Well, they, they neither of them understand. I don't think they have a clue about how, how, how the you know this stuff works. But you know, Rick, you know, these PTSD rates are real. You know, the suicide rates are real. The yeah. divorce rates are real. You know, and our soldiers are our, our best American men and women uniform, and they will stand up to serve us as long as we ask. I go around the country regularly and ask by the U.S. military uh, to to use my experience in Iraq and Afghanistan and my background in economics from WSU and Harvard to lecture on the economics and counterinsurgency. So I talk to a lot of brigade combat teams still going over on their third and fourth deployments. And, uh, you know, it's not right to forget about these things. And so I don't know if I'll win this election or not, but uh, by golly, people are going to uh, think about the Afghan war if I have anything to do with it. Yeah, well, uh, Senate candidate Michael Baumgartner, I appreciate you calling in given uh, given your side of this. It, uh, it looks like it's becoming the issue, but hopefully we can put a stopper to that. And uh, thanks for standing up for our troops, buddy. Thank you, Rick. Bye-bye. Right, take care. All right, uh, Senator Mike Baumgartner, who is running for the U.S. Senate and under quite a bit of uh, scrutiny now because a liberal leftist blogger uh, decided to take a personal email and make it public. We'll take a break, and we'll be right back. 10.56, it is the Rick Rydell Radio Program. Stand by.